right, this is Brian from Buffalo Beer Reviews. Um, this is my second attempt at a video today. The first one exploded. Okay, right on my lap. <laughs> I don't know if it's the uh, the 25 degrees outside here in Buffalo. I don't know if it was partially uh, frozen, but I'm gonna give it another try. And uh, this is a different beer. This other previous beer was not salvageable, nonetheless. Today we have, ooh, we've got the Collective Arts Black IPA. Um, I really like black IPAs. Uh, I think it's a good sort of uh, middle point for like, I like porters, I don't know, and I like stouts, but I also like IPAs. I think this kind of makes me happy with the way it looks. Uh, some of those different sort of familiar flavors you can do with the darker beers, while also, you know, those, you know, traditional IPA flavors as well. It's really cool. Um, from Untapped, it says the collective... Project Black IPA is a limited edition single batch craft beer from Collective Arts. It's uh, smooth with a dry finish with some lingering hot bitterness. Uh, it's 6.8% alcohol by volume with 75 IBUs. Uh, primary notes of citrus, orange, and grapefruit are prevalent. The Galaxy Mosaic and Simcoe hops are nicely balanced, featuring tropical fruit and background hints of chocolate and roast. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Again, this is the Collective Arts Black IPA, and I'm going to send up a little prayer to whatever fictional beings up above us, and I uh, hope that this does not explode. Yay! It did not. I don't know if that's a good thing or if it's just a frozen, uh, you know, beer sickle in the can. So I get to use this glass with the label out today. Even better. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell it's cold. Those bubbles are slow to escape the beer, which is fine. So like I said, 6.8% alcohol by volume. This is the Black IPA from Collective Arts. Um, yeah. It's like a really dark soda in appearance, or um, more like a like a regular porter, a dark porter. Uh, you've got this really nice sort of tan head on it. Um, pretty packed too. Mmm, a great combination, a great mixing of aromas. Uh, you totally got this. If you close your eyes and were to smell it, you'd say that's a regular IPA. And then you open up your eyes and you see this thing. And it's it just kind of messes with your head a little bit in a good way. And I'm not getting really any other aromas. Like a lot of times you can smell those roasted notes. You can smell the, the chocolatey maltiness to it. But I'm not really getting any of that from the aroma. Mmm. It just smells like a fine IPA. So, again, this is the Black IPA from Collect Collective Arts. Cool. I'm, I still have a whole refrigerator full from when I took the trip up there two weeks ago with the boys for hockey. So, let's see this. I've never had this before. This is going to be this is a first off for me on, on uh, film. So, I want to see, really, I'm excited to see what this thing tastes like. So, let's do it. Wow. It is something you don't get to drink very often. Okay, so I think right up front, I think you get that, you get the aromas, but then you don't get the typical, you know, first handshake, uh, first impressions of the hoppiness of the IPA. You really get those roasted maltiness to it right up front. And you get the chocolate notes. And that's really what you taste first. 
and then after that initial uh, pass through, then you get all of those tropical hoppiness to it, and it's really, really cool. Um, it's not something that I've I've had a lot of. Um, yeah, you can you the mosaics pretty easy. The Simcoe is pretty easy to tell, and so is the Galaxy. Um, get my nose a little bit deeper down in there. And I get a, only a very faint amount of roastedness. Um, it's something I think you you got to leave yourself a little bit of room to smell. Yes, roasted chocolatey with this. You still get those fruit presences, like the the citrusy, uh, you know, fruit, but it's not like this candied uh you know you might have this mental image of like chocolate covered or orange flavored chocolate it's nothing like that so the the flavors are separate and very easily identi uh, and identifiable they're not muddled in with one another it's really cool uh it's crisp right up front it's very i i feel like it's a it's a light body beer um even for the a the ABV and the IBUs, um, I still feel as though it drinks like a light body beer. Maybe a, even a tick towards the medium body, but it's not overwhelming by any means. Mm. Yeah, I'd say a thin mouthfeel. There's almost no aftertaste, uh, though it, it's very mellow on the follow through. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I get a clean follow through, maybe slightly on the uh, on the hoppy um, aftertaste, but nothing terrible. I'm really glad I was able to get uh, two of these from my friend Todd uh, from work. Uh, he hooked me up big time when he was up there. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've had this. Um, this is not going to be a hard beer to finish. I'm glad I have another one in the refrigerator, actually. Um, it's really enjoyable. So if you guys see it out, I know it was a single batch, uh, black IPA, but if you see black IPAs around, I know 21st amendment does a nice black IPA. No, um, the Pearl street, uh, the Pearl street brewery does a great black IPA as well. If you guys see it around, um, you know, take that uh, leap of faith and, uh, pick one up. I think you might find one of your new favorite go-to styles of beer. I'm really happy with this. I don't know if you guys could tell. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making it. So um, until next time, guys, um, happy holidays. Uh, I like to say good beer is non-denominational. So, and remember when somebody says happy holidays, say thank you. Happy holidays. Be joyous, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.